Hello, hello, my fine feathered friends. Give me a second here. I am trying to... S there we go. Now y'all will be able to see the game. Woohoo! <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we're gonna... We're all hanging out waiting anyway. I guess we might as well hang out on stream and play some stream games here. So... For those who haven't played this before, Words on Stream is a really fun little game where it will show us a bunch of letters and you have to make as many, I believe they have to be four letters or more, like uh, as many four and five letter words out of them as possible and you type them in the chat. There is a bit of a cooldown after you get one right, so if you immediately type an, uh, another word, it probably won't pick that up. Just letting you know, because I've I've been guilty of that. <laughs> and so I will get that going, and then I will also pull up some music here. But let's get the game going. Let you guys try it out here. Three, two, one. All right, I'll let you guys take this one for now while I finish setting up some stuff around here. Let's get my soundboard all set up. And my music, all of these little things. Okay. Where's my music? music. Woohoo! Good one, Super Doom. And Lisa got one. Good job. There's our music. Let's start it over at the beginning. Like it might be a little loud. Okay. Okay, what else we got here? Super Doom got the longest word there. Nice one. All right. Did we get enough right to move? No, we didn't get quite enough to move on to the next level. Well, you know, we're rusty. We haven't done this in a while. So let's try again. Woohoo! Super Doom with 30 points. Awesome. Let me see if my see if my uh, soundboard is working right now. Uh, I moved all my buttons around and now I can't find anything. I don't think that was the right one. Where's my cheer? There's the crowd. There. Hey, Cold Mop. Welcome, welcome. We're just hanging out playing games here while we wait for <laughs> ASA to drop. Hey Hayden! Welcome, welcome. Alright, let's try again. And I'll keep refreshing the Steam store here. It's only been about a thousand times so far, I keep refreshing it. Still says coming soon, dang it. Purple, welcome, welcome. Hey, Melancholy Ninja, welcome. Ooh, Hayden got the big word. Good one. Oh, 
You beat me to that one, melancholy ninja. I am not as good as this, at this as I was. Um, more. Good one, yeah. Wait, oh, we just need one more point. Just one more point. We've already reached the goal to be able to go on to the next level, but let's see how many more we can get. Good job, everybody. Woohoo! Let me see if I can turn down the volume just a smidge. On the music here. This music player is way too sensitive. Seems like it's either really loud or it's off just about. All right, here we go again. You did get catapulted to the top, Super Doom. <laughs> GG. Uh, no, you don't. Just type the words in the chat there, Cold Mop. I connected the game to my YouTube account, so it does the thing.
Oh, Hayden beat me to it. Good job. I must have been on cooldown or something. Oh, look at us. I Man, we're way over the goal this time. Awesome. You guys are really getting this game. Nice. That's okay, Shadow Mane. I know some people in the chat English isn't their first language. That would make it a lot harder for sure. I can't imagine trying to play word games in a language that wasn't my first language. You would have to be much, 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 much smarter than I am, that's for sure. Okay. It rejected Lathe twice. Well, you might, you might have done it too soon after you had just submitted a different word and you maybe were on cooldown. Here we go. Oh, and don't forget to beat the algorithms. Don't forget to like the screen, the stream, if you haven't already. Okay, we got this time. See, as long as you've got that little lock symbol next to your name, I believe that's when you're on cooldown. But eventually that goes away. I think it might be like a 30 second cooldown or something. There, see that little lock went away. Now we're free to be able to post again. Lisa got it. I must have still been on cooldown. Nice one. Yeah, you guys are at almost double the goal already. We got a smart crowd here. Oh, and Mikey got the long word this time. Nice. Sweet. Skip three levels. Wow. Up to level six already. And Mikey is in the number one spot this time. Awesome. Awesome. <sighs> All right. Here we go again. <laughs> This music is... I'm not feeling this music right now. I think I'm going to pause that and play something else just for kicks and giggles, because why not? Um, what do I got? Ooh, party music. There we go. That's better. It's kind of a short little piece, though. What else do I got here? This one...
Yeah, I finally got one. Oh! Okay, so this was one of the... I, I, I wasn't paying attention. This is one of the fake letter... Um, rounds. Okay. That's why my words were not being accepted. Cold Mop and Hayden got the long word this time. Well, look at that. This song just happened to be the perfect length. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right. Good job, everybody. Woohoo! Super Goon is in the top spot again. Let's turn my voice mod down just a smidge. Okay. <sighs> Well, let us try another round here. What do you think? I think that sounds like a great idea. Unless people are getting too sleepy. I think we can manage one more, right? <laughs> no worries. I don't know who Peggy Hill is, Super Doom, but I take it there's somebody who's good at word games. It's kind of funny because I grew up in a family where everybody played word games. I swear, I mean, at family reunions, it's insane. I don't think I've ever seen a Scrabble game that ended with less than 200 points. There's always crazy word games going on with my family and of, of course I grew up losing most of the time to these amazing players and I didn't think I was very good at word games until I started playing with people outside my family and now yeah my husband refuses to play word games with me because I always win so I'm trying to hold myself back and not do every word I say also, you know, I get distracted doing stream stuff. Nice one, nice one. Mikey got office and officer. Good one, good one. Super Doom's on a roll here. Okay, why didn't my... Oh, there's only one E. Okay, that's that's the problem. Ah, oh, we didn't quite make the goal this time. Well, oh, that's okay. Alrighty. Well, what do you say we try switching to some Gartic for now? Um, no, don't play another round right at this moment. Okay, there we go. It. So it won't automatically do it. And then let's switch over here to Gartic. Gartic, for those who haven't played it before, it's basically like Pictionary, except we don't have to do the drawing. They have, there will be a whole bunch of different drawings on the same screen that are all being drawn. And you just have to put your guesses in the chat. And if you get one right, then it'll show that you got it right and it'll remove that picture and immediately replace it with another one. So there's always a whole lot of pictures being drawn and you just just basically spam your guesses in the chat as fast as you can. And that's pretty much how it goes. All right. So let's give this a whirl. Yeah, if you spam them too fast, though, also, Melancholy Ninja, you might have been on cooldown, or it may have been that somebody else already got that one. Yeah, shut up and take my words, exactly. Alright, there, see, like, I got that one. Super Doom got Tunnel, good one.
Yeah, so we just keep guessing them as fast as we can. It's funny, I wasn't even guessing that picture. I was guessing this other one here on the end. Ah, good one, Super Bean. mod and turn it down a bit. Oh. Woo Thanks so much to whoever just subscribed. I appreciate it very much. Uh, the stream elements isn't showing me names currently. Um, but thank you. Thank you. Let's see if I can find it. At least stream elements bot isn't spamming the chat anymore like it did earlier. All right. We got another round going. There we go. Oh, I can actually see names now. Woohoo. Welcome Cody Brooks. Thanks for subscribing. Joe plays games and for Roppy. Welcome, welcome. All righty. What the these are some interesting pictures. Some of these people, I think, were better at drawing than others. A dental floss, good one. Yeah, type here. All right. Well, let's give it a try again. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to let you guys take the next round while I finish my dinner over
good job, you guys! Sweet, you skipped the level. Awesome. I am checking Twitter over here and checking the Steam page, refreshing it a couple more times. <laughs> Come on, give us the dang game already! Sweet! Good one, Lisa! Sweet. Just in time for Halloween. Which if I can get the face cam that I just got, if I can get it set up, I am planning on doing my first stream with a face cam on Halloween. If we can, if I can make it work. We'll see. We'll see. Sweet! Good job! Oh, look at this! Super Doom is cleaning up again! Nice! Very nice! Very nice! Yeah, you, you may have been on cooldown, Super, um, Shadow Main. I'm not sure exactly why it accepts some and not others maybe put a space in somewhere that it wasn't supposed to have a space or something i don't know and yay tyler yep second place good job i could spell that would help Super Doom got it. And Lisa, good job. Sure, good one. I don't know what's going on with this poor lady's face here, but apparently it's not either freckles or acne. <sighs> Alrighty. 
Oh, hey, Subsonic. Welcome, welcome. Hmm. You want to keep playing this, or should I boot up some regular art? Can we? And I could just play that just to kill time while we're waiting. What do you think? You want to keep playing this? Or words on stream here. I'm going to put it up to a poll. Let me set up a poll here. All right, there we go. We are on to another round of Gartic, but if you could also vote in the poll, we can have some fun with that. ASA is supposed to come out tonight on Steam, Josh. That's what they said. They keep pushing back the time. They said it was going to be on stream originally at 4 o'clock uh, Pacific time, and then apparently that was uh, either a typo or somebody's math was off in uh, changing things for different time zones or something and then there was something about a binary cook that needed to be done or something I don't know but I keep refreshing the steam page and so far it still says coming soon and I figured you know we're all waiting anyway so we might as well play some games together while we wait Yeah, I know, right? Delayed over and over. Well, at least we did get to see gameplay earlier today. I just wish they would have announced, you know, hey, we're going to be releasing it on Monday and then gone through all this scramble and actually just released it on time on Monday instead of saying it was going to be today. All right. Galooshes, galoshes. Let's see, what are some other words for those? Wellingtons or wellies. I know that's a UK term for them sometimes. I think it's a particular brand or something. All right, here goes another level. And let me refresh the Steam page again. And still no change. All right. Let me see. Where's my, some more sound effects that I can play with? I've always liked this one. How can I compete with that? <laughs> oh, this one's a fun one. I'll be your DJ for the evening, too. How about that? Oh, geez, that poor person has quite the uh, situation going on on their belly there. That does not look at all comfortable. What 
Okay, I turned that down for me, but it wasn't supposed to turn down in OBS. There we go. <sighs> Good one, Tyler. Ooh, eviscerate. That's a good one. <sighs> All right. They say they've got more games. They're probably they probably charge for the rest of them. Yeah, I've looked at these before. And all of them except Words on Stream and Gartic are like only for Twitch. At least when I've checked before. Let me ch let me see. Yep, to only Twitch. What are they gonna get with the get with the times here? And have some more of these available for YouTube streaming. That sucks. Oh, well. Is it fun? Okay, I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. I do like hanging out with y'all while we wait here. Let's maybe switch back to some more words on stream. What do you think? Let's try some more of this. Okay, that music is way too quiet now. There we go, that's better. You're gonna go overthrow the government. Um, okay, uh... Have, uh... I don't know exactly what to say to that. I don't want to be on record as encouraging such behavior, so I will assume you're joking. Oh, good one, Josh. Oh, Lisa got it. I had it misspelled. That's the problem. Too bad.
I changed the title of the stream so that it's not quite so clickbaity. I didn't think I was clickbaiting when I set up the stream. Let's play games while we wait for ASA to drop. <sighs> Okay. Ooh, you guys are on a roll here. Yeah, Lisa's on a roll now. Awesome. Sweet. Good job. This is the one that's really loud some of the time. Turn it down. Good one. Look at that. Lisa has gotten the top ranking, the last two, and Melancholy Ninja in the second place. Good one. Good one. Did Super Doom give up and go to bed? Haven't seen his name pop up here in a little while. Oh, hey, Josh. Yeah, you came because of the title. Yeah. That's what we wanted to be doing, but we're still waiting for it to hit the Steam Workshop or the Steam Store. I keep refreshing it over here every few minutes. I've also got Discord open here so I can see the announcement if they if the Arc Discord announces anything. I'm checking Twitter from time to time. I'm doing all of the things to try to figure out what the heck is going on here. Tia Aurora says, when I say embrace the chaos on ARC launch days, I mean it. She's been here, I believe, since the very beginning of ARC. She says that the launch days are pretty much always like this. Oh, Super Doom's back. Good one. You guys are, yeah, you guys are on a roll. This is a piece called Horses to Water. We've got a collection of some random Western stuff I downloaded, mostly for my Scorched Apocalypse series, just because it seemed to fit the desert environment. Check the ARC Twitter account again.
All right, let's see. What letters are we dealing with right now? Still waiting on the, the um, Steam page. I can still keep the question about Peter. And still nothing new. You would think about the thousandth time I, str I refreshed it, something would change, but no. I'm keeping my eye on the poll, and so far, 40% of y'all still want words on stream, so we'll do uh, at least a couple more rounds of that before we try something else. <laughs> Miss my, I missed your message because Super Doom spam. Sorry about that. Uh, let me see if I can scroll back and find it. Oh, you're gonna leave the stream up on your TV while you play Warframe for a bit and come back when ASA comes out, if it's before you go to bed. Well, good news is I am in Pacific time here, so it's only 9 p.m. where I am. It's not I'm, It's not nearly as late as it is for most of y'all, so I'm good to wait and I'm good to be here for at least another hour or two, I think, but I just want to at least get a look at ASA before going to bed, right? <sighs> All right. What other music do I got on my soundboard here? Some RPG music. RPG theme. Oh, now this sounds epic. Let's go on an epic journey of trying to beat words on stream. Oh, Super Doom got turnip. Good one. Ooh, everything, everything I see, I look and oh, somebody already got it. You guys are fast. Oh, that's a good one. I always forget the words that start with vowels. Very, very nice. Good job. Okay. Oh, there's a piece of music here for epic win or no, this one's victory. Let's see. There you go. Good job. There we go. Sorry if I keep blowing your eardrums out. I'm not trying to. It's just that all of these different sound clips seem to be at different volumes. <sighs> oh, pint was supposed to be your answer. Okay. Oh, uh, looks like about 33% are now saying to play some ASE. You could do that. You know, I haven't played just, just regular ASE without, like, having a plan in mind for quite a while. That would actually be a lot of fun. 
I've always been like working on a tutorial or working on a series or something. I actually have a build I was working on that I was thinking of making into, tuto into a tutorial, but I never actually finished it. But I could show you all that if you would like when we're done with this round. In fact, um, when we're done with this round, I'll get arc loading up in the background because this is my main monitor screen here and I can't start it up without uh, without it covering up the screen here. Greeted, good one. Greet, egret. I got one finally. <laughs> okay. I think I'll probably just load up a single one of my single player saves. I have one where I was working on recreating a raft build that I originally built in a survival playthrough on a server that was also vanilla. It had no mods on it and so I was trying to recreate that raft build that I did. Nice, good one. Can we just like pause it? Um, oh, there we go. Now it will wait for me to trigger the next round. Perfect. Okay. So let me get ASE loading up here. I have so much junk on my desktop. It's not even funny. Okay. Okay, it's starting to load up. That is a good sign. You like my uh, desktop picture, by the way? <laughs> I downloaded that earlier today on the from the Steam page. Come on now. Refresh the Steam page a few more times. The red mushroom looks like a face. A little bit. And there's also some creatures hiding in here if you look. There's a bat, oops, spider. There's also a couple of megalanias and stuff. No, this is just ASC. We're just gonna play some ASC while we, just to kill time while we wait. Maybe I should, maybe I should have booted up Seven Days to Die just for that reason, so people wouldn't think that I'm playing ASA. <sighs> there we go. Oh, actually, no, not the server. I'm gonna just start up single player. I think, yeah, the one that I was working on was Vel um, Velvero. Let me, I always, before I launch a single player game, I always check the mod list to make sure that all of the important mods are on here because if I, if I started it up, say if I had something built using Architect Structures Core and I started it up without that mod, then that structure would go poof and we don't want that. So I always check that first. All right, and then we can load it up. Usually takes a bit. Nope, it's not out yet, Shadow Main. We're still killing time here, so I'm loading up an ASE single player game where I was building a building a uh, kind of a houseboat raft. I was trying to work out a design that might work on ASA when it comes out. Come on now. Moderators just, yeah, I heard that there was a bunch of abusive messages going on, like people were being really rude and saying some really terrible things and stuff. Yeah. 
Come on, people. It, it may be... We're all waiting anxiously for the same thing, but at the same time, it is just a game. Like, don't be a jerk in real life because of a game, you know? Sometimes people need to have a little bit of perspective. Okay, it's gonna take a while to load up, so let's see if I can pop this back on. Oh. Ark does not like me to put any other things on the screen, but I found a little trick. I've noticed that if I pop open something else, sometimes it'll force it to minimize. But it doesn't seem to be working today. <laughs> could switch it over to my other screen, but the thing is my browser screen is on my main screen. Ah, there we go. Can we minimize, please? Show desktop. Nope, it won't do it. It's being stubborn. It's still loading. It takes a little while to load. Especially with all the mods I'm running on there. Oh well, we can just hang out and listen to the awesome music we all know and love so well. That sucks, Super Doom. There we go. Now it'll finally show it to us. But that, uh, yeah, right when it's about to load me in, I can tell from the music. Come on now. I think I will minimize this. Put it over here. I even tried opening Beacon in the background, opening, hoping that that would work. Uh, yes, and then close this. I've got way too many programs open right now. I'm amazed my PC is handling this as well as it is. <sighs> it's so weird. Sometimes I'll have like a ton of different programs running and it'll just run. It'll run perfectly fine. Other times I'll have literally just the browser with the live streaming desktop thing and the chat and OBS and like nothing extra and my GPU will be hitting 100%. It's, I don't know what the deal is. Oh well, it still thinks it's loading. All right, well, you know what? I bet as soon as we start another round, it's gonna, it's gonna load. So let's, let's just do it. We might as well. All right. I'm, I'm still on cooldown. Late, that's the word that's on all of our minds tonight. <laughs> Super Doom, you're still on cooldown. You notice the uh, the little lock symbol on your name means that you are on cooldown and it will not accept another word from you for I think it's like 30 seconds or something. Taking a minute to load. 
Oh, 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 sounds like it's, oh, it's, it's coming. It's coming, sweet. Uh, can you open? Are you going to open? No, it's still thinking about it. Please, pretty please, be good. <sighs> there we go. All right, okay, it's going to take a minute to load in the textures. And of course it messed up the order I had everything in. But, all right, check it out. So this is my houseboat raft I was working on. And I originally built this in sur- Oh, don't freeze up on me now. I built this on a Lost Island server when Lost Island first came out um, originally, and then I was just trying to recreate it on here. And this is with a base game vanilla pieces, but the, the basic gist is I've got a t I've got all the necessities here. I've got a really nice big taming pen, which I can also use for transporting large creatures. I need to move a little more slowly so that everything doesn't get too blurry for y'all. And there is also space in here for a very compact little kibble farm. Actually, these guys were up on the perches there because you can, if they'll behave, you can make them stand on the catwalk. Sometimes. Other times they won't behave. Anyway, that's the gist of it there, like that. And all of the kibble critters are on... Nope! Oh, I didn't mean to turn off the generator. Where do you think you're going? You're not on wandering or anything. You're not following anybody, so just stay put. Sheesh. All right. And when I built this before, I found a little trick for the garden because, uh, yeah, like finally, finally ASE is loading at least. This is still not ASA. I don't want anybody thinking that this is something it isn't. But, um, anyway, I found a little trick because if you've ever tried to put pipes on on a, a raft before, it doesn't usually let you. Oh, and check it out, I've got my little, little area in here where I've got my dung beetle and my snail and my oviraptor all on wander, because they have to be on wander. And I can open the window to access the trough here. And got forges, even, even got a spot back here for a fabricator with this poor moss chops who is apparently has fallen through the, the ramp here. Um, excuse me, uh, you appear to be stuck. Try this again. There, you stay there. Moss chops, of course, are the smallest creature that lays large eggs for making superior kibble. So always like to have a few moss chops in there. Okay, you gonna stay there? You should be on ignore group whistles and stuff. You are, right? Passive. Ignore group whistles. Okay. Then we'll... Head's still going to be poking through. Back up just a smidge, okay? Oh, close enough. Now you're going to snap all janky on me, aren't you? That's the thing about building on rafts. This flickering is what makes all kinds of cool broken physics possible, but it also can be annoying sometimes. All right, so anyway, and I got a spot up here for a plant species X. Another little entrance over here. 
And underneath the ramp that goes up into the taming pen is where I've got my little cabin with my beds and my storage and my campfires for cooking and stuff. And this is my, the male moss chops. I like to usually get low level females and then a higher level male for mate boosting the females. And then I just take the male out when I want to gather berries or um, fiber or whatever so that the females can just stay in my kibble farm. Okay. And you need a name. I always name my first moss chops Mo. So you can be Mo. How about that? Um, Let me get my music going here. So quiet without the music on. Oh, come on, get back up there on the screen. Are you gonna work? Or are you gonna go blank on me? Hello? What are you doing here, game capture? Jeez, what the heck is Beacon doing? Beacon's doing something weird in the background. Oh well, I guess we will have to use display capture. Alright, well that, that works. Beacon, what the heck are you doing? Go away, stop it. There you go. All right, now where's my music player under all of these layers of windows? Try this one. That's better. Yeah, Super Doom boats. <laughs> Super Doom is very excited to see a boat. Yes. Oh, and I've got a little door here also out to the taming pen. And when I built this before on survival, I actually used the space over here also for the larger crafting stations as I continued to level up. Like when I got finally a an industrial grill, I just kept it in a box most of the time and I would just pop it up in there when I needed to cook some meat and then put it away again. But oh, let me show you how the, the fix that I figured out for the fact that you can't actually put pipes on a boat. Uh, just a second here. Let me go into GCM. Okay. Stop it. Alright, and we will get some regular vanilla pipes. I just need an intake and vert, cross, straight, and And you'll notice if I try to put it, it says this structure cannot be placed on a platform, right? But here's the little hack that I figured out. <laughs> um, excuse me, guys. I don't think you're supposed to be out here. That's the other thing about rats. <laughs> okay. Let me move this a little bit away from the shore, actually. This is not a great spot. I left just a little bit of the raft exposed here, just so I could move it. Let's get this thing turned around a little bit. And let's find a spot. I think I actually might want to park it a little farther down there. Make sure I'm not leaving anybody behind. This will work over here. Probably. Hopefully. Maybe. Okay. Now this area here is where my garden is. So I'm going to go over here and... Get these guys all ready. 
Okay, um... Oh, hey. I happen to be on, um... I happen to be in creative mode, so yeah, you guys aren't going to be able to do all that much, but be annoying. I don't like to use the red gun unless I absolutely have to, because I'm just sure that I would red gun the wrong thing. to get out the red gun if you guys don't leave me alone. Sheesh. Alright. I might not even need the cross piece. But I grabbed some anyway just in case. And then I'm going to take an intake and I'm actually going to put it this direction. Better probably if it was a little bit higher. Can take some tinkering to get it just right. Funny thing is, it probably would actually water the garden even from over here, but I am going to try to get it a little bit straightened out. Back up, please. No, we're going to have to turn and come at it again. But see, the reason it works, of course, is because the pipes are not on the raft. That's uh, marginally closer, maybe. Okay. Give it a minute to update. I may have to fiddle with the location a bit more, but I've done this before. There it goes. Irrigated. Irrigated and irrigated and... 300% greenhouse. I actually used uh, the greenhouse double door frames on the inside here because it... Even though I can, you know, I can walk right through and access the garden, just having that little bit of extra greenhouse pieces was what it needed to get it up over 300%. garden planted here. We can get all these critters out of the way, that is. You know what? I think I'm going to move you up top to being a protection detail critter. Let's move this moss chops up to be the anchor. Alright, Mo. I love that moss chops can fit through double doors. It really makes them a lot more useful than they otherwise would be. Okay, you are on passive. And let's grab you and put you in whistle group one. You are really low level. So yeah, I don't think we're going to put you in protection detail. That one's higher level. So to in group one. Okay, no. Nope, you're on ignore group. 
Let's fix that, shall we? Now... Okay, this will only affect you guys. So I can hit J, they'll be following Mo here, and I can also put them on attack my target. So if any annoying seagulls come nearby, they will kill it. In fact, you know what? I could put you guys even on aggressive. Let's do that. I've, I've had them on aggressive even by bases and stuff before to clear things out before they become a problem. The only thing is you don't want to do that if there's a chance that like a titanosaur might wander nearby because, yeah, you don't want them aggroing <laughs> a titanosaur. But I have not seen any in this part of this map, so I think we should be good. Did that work? Yes, okay. You guys are aggressive, but you are following the moss chops, so you should be good. Oh, except that these guys are now going to try to help. No! <laughs> we don't need your help! Dang things. Building buddy, what are you doing? I'm going to have to pick up a piece here. This is definitely easier if you have pickup enabled. Hey! Have to go and catch my Sino again. Actually, let's put you. No, you know what? On my back, it's okay if you're on attack my target. The Morphodons sure made a mess of the beach here. Doesn't moss chops always look sleepy to me, don't they? Zant, or is it because you're sleepy? <laughs> I know it's pretty late where you are at. Okay, where's the other? There's the other one. Oh, that one got caught in the railing. That's why only the other one went out there. Um, you're not very smart, are you? Well, I'll let you deal with that problem, I guess. Okay, let's put this meat in the trough here. Got eggs. Alright, but I wanted to try building a design basically like this. But using the closest thing I, as of yet, have access to... Um, t the thing that's the closest to ASA building pieces, which is pieces from Architect Structure's core. So let's move this guy over a bit. ready. Now Architect Structure's core, the textures are all the same as base game vanilla pieces, but it has square walls. So in that way, it looks pretty similar to ASA building. Let's Oops. Let's try the window wall. Regular wall. And where's the door? I did notice that the double doors for ASA don't have this bar across the top. And I'm pretty excited about that because I, I wish they had that option in Architect Structures. And need some ramps. Doesn't look like Architect Structures has ramps. They might have it as a variant of the of the staircase. I'll have to try that.
Okay, so they call the roof pieces something different as well. And there's a lot more roof angles and roof textures in architect structures, but we'll just go with the standard stone square roof pieces. And I think instead of sloped walls, they called they called the the sloped walls gables. Yes. Where's the standard? And I really like that there's just one that you can flip to either side. It's you don't have to deal with left and right ones. And but there is a separate inverted one. So that's handy so it doesn't flip upside down when you don't want to. Yeah, I know it's almost midnight over there on the East Coast, Zant. Project Zomboid, huh? Yeah, well, I did have, a, in the poll I put up, I did have Seven Days to Die as an option, but that is not the option that won the poll at this time. And, But I, I probably wouldn't want to download a completely new game other than, obviously, ASA on this stream, just because it, you know, would take a while. And then ASA would end up dropping and I wouldn't be able to download it because I'd be in the middle of downloading something else and that would suck. So we don't want that. Okay, let, in order to lower the foundations, let me get some pillars, some regular vanilla pillars and some thatch foundations. Just base game ones for fine. Sometimes, uh, rather than dealing with the fact that modded pieces will tend to snap differently, it can be easier to put the vanilla ones down first and then replace them with the modded ones once you've got them where you want them. So let's do that. Of course, the first piece is always the most important. Because I want it to be just so. Okay, is this... This looks right, but let's double check. Okay, that should work. Then what we need to do is we'll do the whole lowering foundations thing a few times. If it'll behave. All right. I wonder if stuff like this is still going to work in ASA. That's one of the things I wanted to test. I know Captain Fat Dog was also planning on streaming tonight as soon as it became available so that he could test out the the building in in creative mode. And it's super late over there in the UK. They're eight hours ahead of me, five hours ahead of the East Coast time. So, probably gave up and went to bed already. What they just posted. What did they just post? You can't just give me that kind of suspense. Okay, let me check over here then and see what they just posted. On now why won't we why won't you update hurry up and update oh my gpu is struggling i'm gonna have to turn down my graphics here yeah i had it all on epic because i was doing some filming i'll turn it all down to medium and high and then my machine will be able to handle it quite a bit better. Turn down the ground clutter. Okay. 
it's, it doesn't change how it looks that much, but it really does make a difference in how well it runs. All right, GPU, you gonna update? Fine, I'll turn off the light shafts for now, if I have to. I like my light shafts. But no. Okay. Let's see what else I can shut down over here. Hey, Soap! You didn't get the notification. Oh, that sucks. But welcome, welcome. Yeah, we're just kind of killing time here, hanging out while we wait for ASA to hopefully drop at some point tonight. Maybe, possibly. They keep pushing it back and pushing it back. They should have just said Monday, you know? <sighs> I don't know why they do this. They're almost as bad at being on time as I am. And that's saying something. What did they post on Twitter? Somebody was saying something tantalizing and I need to see. I don't see anything more recent than five hours ago. Shotgun Betty, it's been a while. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Okay. Did they post that on their Discord? Oh, yep, yep. I see a couple notifications on the Discord. Yes, in order to lighten the load on our volunteer moderation team, we've temporarily disabled posts in a number of channels in the Discord. Okay. And announcements, anything new in there? Okay, so about six minutes ago, Dolly posted, we're currently doing our final checks on the release candidate for Steam, and if everything checks out, we should be good to release the game within the hour. And we will also share more info with our console players. And the emojis are going nuts. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I was chatting a little bit with Mr. Miola. I asked him what he was going to do about his Omega series, and he's got it all recorded. A uh, bunch more episodes, and now he's just got to figure out what to do about that. That's kind of the same situation I'm in with my Scorched Apocalypse 100 Days. I've got it recorded, not edited. Started editing it. But now I think I'm going to probably have to wait a, at least a couple of weeks for all of the... Um, ASA madness to die down a bit and then maybe people will be interested in watching an ASC 100 days I don't know my timing just was not great but you know other opportunities came up while I was working on that project and ended up pushing it back quite a bit later than I would have liked okay so now this is about as low as I would like it to be so from here then I can just swap, well I can snap these um, Architect Structures core foundations to that and place that one as well. Got to leave a little bit of wood so you can still access the raft to be able to drive it. And then let's see if this works with uh, Architect Structures foundations. I know it works with vanilla. I don't know if it works with architect structure. It does. Okay, this actually does work with vanilla. If you put a roof or a ceiling out, then you can extend the foundations out wider. That's how I got that one to as wide as it is. Let me count. How wide is it? It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven wide. This is seven foundations wide, this houseboat here. And yeah, I wasn't able to put the last little ramp on that corner because it was too far from the platform. Okay, but yeah, this is this this is the trick of how to do that. You've gotta 
put roofs, uh, ceilings out, and then snap foundations under them, and then you can pick up, pick up the ceiling. Sometimes it's easier to do it from this angle. <sighs> yeah, it does seem like poor time management, but you know, we don't know what all's going on behind the scenes. At least the console delays are not necessarily their fault because they did release the certification builds to Sony and Microsoft. They're just waiting on Sony and Microsoft to certify them. So, yeah, they have to go through their own testing process on that. Okay, so that is five on each side. I don't I think this work, yeah, you can't do that, at least not on the corners, one more level out, but then you can switch to ceilings. Won't let me do the corners there, though. So I think I'll leave it one, two, I think that's right. It will let me go up farther on this side. Okay, whatever. And I... I raised the structure limit on um, rafts because otherwise you will hit the structure limit fairly early on into this process. I have built a somewhat similar raft on servers that still had the structure limit for the rafts. But um, yeah, for those ones, I got to the point about, uh, I got to where I'd finished this cabin underneath the ramp here and the taming pen. And I think I put down a smithy and a forge, and that was it. I'd hit the structure limit. I think I was able to put at least a couple of foundations. I mean, a couple of crop plots down. Oh, you guys gonna go hassle the turtle? I can suit yourselves. Yeah, this is only 5D. Which is good because you do need some extra space for the ramps. So I might even remove one layer of the ceilings here. Because there is a, har a limit on how far from the platform you can go. Okay. You're staying up till 1 a.m., huh, Zant? Well, let's hope that it that it works. Let's hope that our patience pays off. Right? Well, thank you, Shotgun Betty. I wish I could take credit for breeding this color combination, but I cannot. I spawned it in using Nucleus, which is an awesome little mod, especially for admin type stuff or for recording, making videos, whatever. If I need something specific, I can spawn it in, including I can spawn in a creature in whatever colors I want. So, naturally, I pick the colors I like the best. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think I may want to bring it in one more on that side. It'll make it a little shallower, but the the taming pen doesn't need to be that huge to start with. 
think yeah more important to have the bandit here i think let's see I think that's fine. enough with the flickering sheesh now do you have a ramp variant yes because you can't craft a raft a ramp separately on this mod. Got it. We'll see how this design looks with square walls. But I always do ramps at the bottom and then switch to sloped roofs. Wow, that is definitely going to have more space underneath. It's, it, this might end up feeling more spacious even though it is... A little bit smaller in surface area. Nice. And the uh, architect structure's stone window wall actually comes with a glass window in it, which is kind of cool. What other variants do we have? If, oh, that's kind of cool. Lower to ceiling if you wanted to stack a few of them and make a really tall window, you can do that. Nice. Oh, I like that. Let's just have a nice big window in our cabin here. Ooh, we're gonna go play some Fallout 76, huh? Have fun with that. I think the last Fallout game that I played was Fallout 4. Which was it was fun. I mean I enjoyed it, but I did not care for the end, the way the story ended. I found the ending to be very unsatisfactory. Yeah, and I'm. This is actually going to save a lot of structures, having the walls be so much taller. Look how much steeper that is, though. Jeez, that is so much steeper. Okay. I think I am going to extend this. Possible. And then can I? No, you won't let me do that. Okay. You're going to be difficult, are you? Alright, fine then. Be that way. I could have sworn I had it going out farther than this one over here. and I was still able to put ramps down. At least one layer of ramps. Um, and this Ichthyornis appears to <laughs> have slid out of there. I uh, don't think you're supposed to be sitting there, buddy. And <laughs> it's kind of hilarious how glitchy they get sometimes. Gotta watch the creatures that are in there. They sometimes they glitch through and escape. Speaking of which, yes, I don't see my snail. Did my snail get out again? I think my snail escaped again. Pick up all of these things. So far, the Overraptor has not escaped. Ooh, we've got nakes, though. Compact it may be, but it still works. And Ichthy Ornus are awesome in compact kibble farms because they actually lay medium eggs. The same tier as, like, turtles and baryonyx and stuff like that. You do have to feed them fish, though. Or basic kibble. 
Yeah, you would think. I, I am constantly refreshing the Steam page. Right? Like, every few minutes I go over here and refresh it again. Nothing's changed yet. Hey, Cheyenne! Welcome. Cheyenne and Nicholas. Welcome, welcome. There is a limit uh, on, yeah, on how far you can go from the raft platform. This one here, this raft is actually built completely vanilla. No modded pieces at all. Um, you know, I should just plant this garden. Not right now, though. Here. Uh, moss chops, can you hold all of this for me? Thank you. So, yeah, this is the vanilla one, and you'll notice I did run out. I wasn't able to put one more ramp on the corner there because it was too far from the platform. For some reason, I was still able to on this corner, though. Do not know what's up with that. It might have something to do with, you know, if it was just a little teensy bit off of, off center or something. I don't know. But, okay, let's see how this would work with square walls. This would be a very small painting pen. It could still work. I don't, strictly speaking, need to have a ramp on that side, but... So yeah, I think I might just do this anyway. Can I put... Oh, wait! It will let me go out a little bit further on this side. So let's do that then. That's probably how I got it farther out with the other one. Do as many foundations as you can. For sure. Woo! I'm back into creative mode flying here. There's still a ceiling on there. Oh, I picked up the wrong one. Dang it. That got it wider. How about over here? Can I put... No, it won't let me put it in the corners. But it still might be worthwhile. I think I'm gonna move this whole thing over. I'm really excited about the fact that I, I just recently learned uh, apparently the news has been out there for a while, but I just haven't picked up on it. But the maker of S Plus, Orion Sun, was hired by Wildcard and has been making the new building system. And so basically, we're, we're supposed to have basically S Plus integrated with the base game. So we won't even need to have an ASA version of S Plus. So here's hoping that he was able to get in all of the important features. Oops, like half walls, for example, the uh, railings that function as half walls, and and even just little things like ceilings that are flush with foundations just make such a big difference. We did get the upside down triangles. I hope we get the pulling mechanics. I kind of doubt it in a way, but I really, really hope that somehow they were able to pull that off. Okay. 
the will you let me put a wall here yes if we did this then could we go up from there no still will not let us do that okay well we're just not going to be able to have ramp pieces at the corners that's not the end of the world So yeah, when I'm driving it, that's the front, and that's we definitely want the side with the the ramp into the taming pen to be over there. And here, we don't need to have as many sets of stairs and ramps, just one for me to get onto the boat. Yep, that is true, Super Doom. I get, I did, I did the basic expanding the um, the the structures allowed on the platform, but I didn't want to change the you know change the I and I in ways that most people wouldn't be able to access if they're you know if if they don't own their own server or finding the I and I files in single player can be kind of a pain in the butt, and so. Even though that is a very, very useful thing to be able to. Oh, there's my Overraptor is on the loose. Come back here. Escapee. Oh, there's my Akatina. Okay, the Akatina somehow escaped and went into the cabin over here. Alright, well. You guys are all going into solar orbs now if you're. And now this moss chops is over here. And you're the one who's functioning. Weren't you functioning as an anchor? Yeah, I think you were you were being the anchor, weren't you? No, okay, Moe's still up there. Just stay in here then and behave yourself. If possible. Huh. Yeah, wood rafts do naturally have a higher structure count, but kind of the purpose of this is to be a base that you can use um, starting an early game. And then it can kind of grow with you as you level up your character. And the motorboat doesn't unlock until quite a bit later on. And so I would want to be able to build this long before I unlock the motorboat. Now, of course, that does make you somewhat in danger from leads. But the times that I have built a raft like this to live in... I just, ugh, seriously, I just don't take any chances. I hug the shore. I stay really close to the shoreline, um, assuming the structure pickup is enabled, which I always enable that and pretty much all the unofficial servers I've ever played on have had it enabled. Um, but if you have, have that enabled, then you can also just carry around some behemoth gates and I, if I had to leave my raft somewhere for the night or whatever when I was logging off, I would put behemoth gates around my raft on the water side and sometimes from the land side too, just to protect it and all the stuff that was in it. And um, yeah, the, my first base on Lost Island was a raft basically like this and I was taking no chances. I was hugging the shoreline. 
Um, I tamed up a pack of sarcos who were following my boat, and I would, I would hop on a sarco and lo- like scout ahead of myself. And if I saw a leads, I would set the pack on it and kill it before I even went anywhere close. And so far, I have not had, I have not lost a raft to sarcos. But you know, watch it happen now in ASA since I said that. I have not lost a raft yet to leads because I tend to be a worry wart and not to take chances like that. All right. Yeah, that'll be a that'll be a good size, I think. This doorway, they don't really have an open window frame that doesn't have glass in it. I might end up using pillars instead with this particular mod. Because I think a lot of smaller creatures could get through that. Hey, Glenn! Welcome, welcome! I really, really hope that we do get some of the quality of life stuff. I mean, I could see them not enabling the early game automation features, you know, like the item collector and the the hatchery and stuff like that. I could see them not doing that, even maybe not the nanny. Leave that to the modders to add. But stuff like being able to pull resources, I, I hope we've got that in some way, shape, or form. I really, really do, because I hate having to run around to different boxes and try to remember which box I put what in and, you know, carry around stacks of metal and rock or whatever in order to make things. It's so much nicer being able to pull to craft. So, so, so much nicer. Try this. It's, this might break a bit. Yeah. It's not enough foundation support, huh? It's because it doesn't. I think it's because it doesn't really recognize. Yeah. It doesn't recognize the architect structure's pieces because it's a different mod. And so, yeah, they're not providing foundation support there. It's weird sometimes the interactions you discover between mods. I wonder if the vanilla ones would behave differently. Let's check and see. Nope. They'll go here because this is closer to the raft itself, I guess. Okay. Which, which windows are we going to do? I wish we had a vanilla adapter to make up the difference in height. I'm probably just going to have to use vanilla window walls if I can. Try those and see if those work. Nope. I don't want to snap there. They recognize that it's a snap point, but no, they don't recognize the foundation support. So let's try pillars. out in case I have any more escaped creatures. Someone used Kairuku to defend their boat? What? How could you use Kairuku to defend your boat? I, I could see maybe Ichthyo um Hesperornis. Hesperornis would be good since they can one-shot kill things like piranhas. They're pretty weak themselves, so if you get anything bigger than a piranha, like a megalodon or something, they will munch it for sure. Yes, yeah, do that. Okay. You're gonna want to snap down first, are you? 
that's, that's okay. And let me see if I can get a snap point also in the middle of these. Try some Architects Core Fence Foundations and some Vanilla Fence Foundations because they, so far it seems, yeah, they behave very differently. Yeah, the Architect Structures ones don't snap to the edge of, of foundations, but you can free place them on the ground. But the Vanilla ones, yeah, these ones do snap to the edge. How did I get there? I know there's a snap point. There's like a T across the middle of this. I don't remember how to get that snap point. Oh geez, the pay <laughs> that's pretty funny, soap goddess. So uh yeah, something <laughs> Somebody punched you and the uh, all of the horde of penguins massacred him, did they? That that would be really funny to watch, that's for sure. I know that there's a way to get a... How did I do that? I cannot remember how I did that. Okay, well, the vanilla pillar will snap there, so I may be able to just replace it or just go with slightly different pillars um, as every other one. But yeah, it seems like uh, I noticed that um, CKFR was like this too. They won't snap to that snap point, but they will snap to a vanilla pillar. Or an S plus pillar usually. Dang it. Alright, then you're gonna be that way. You will not snap to the Fence Foundation. But you will. So we're just going to roll with that. It's a pattern. It makes a lovely pattern. We'll pretend it's on purpose. Snap to your own modded pillar. There. Can you snap? There, thank you. You've got a price for ASA and a buy option. What? Yes, I do see it there as well. Okay, let me check my library and see if I have the option to download it yet. Still says planned release date coming soon. Is it still say coming soon? Why do you do this to me? Uh, oh, it says okay, it does say play now. I don't think it's downloaded yet, but <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. Here, actually, let me put this on my screen here. Um, yeah. Take a look at this. An error occurred while installing Arc Survival Ascended. App not released. Okay, well, at least something different happened this time. 
I'm gonna take a picture of that and post it on Twitter. <sighs> That's to my desktop and now you'll know why my desktop is so cluttered because I can't be bothered to dig through uh, folders. I save stuff to my desktop and then I just throw it in the recycle bin when I'm done with it. But anyway, yeah, so they're working on it. I'm sure somebody's frantically working behind the scenes to fix whatever the heck's going on. <laughs> oh, it's downloading it. It is it it's not downloading it for me. It's not showing uh Steam is not showing any downloads queued or anything. it's in your steam library get out of the down how do I get out of this dang screen? Now it does say install. Sweet. Let's get that going. It is downloading, folks. 76 gigabytes. That is the size of what is being downloaded. So that may take a minute, but I've got it up in got it up in my other screen here. It is downloading. Hey Josh, yeah, I understand. It is, I understand it is definitely getting late for a lot of people. It is somewhat late for me too. I have never streamed this late before, I don't think. But it is what it is. At least it's not as late for me as it is for y'all East Coast people. Can you snap to the other pillar there, please? Uh, why are you doing that? Oh, oh. You know, sometimes I wish that I could take uh, one of the people who go, Oh, building with mods is just too easy. There's, it takes all the challenge out of building. Oh. <laughs> sometimes I would love to take them into <laughs> Ark as I play it and be like, Yeah, you think this is easier? It's not easier, it's just different. It just gives you some additional options, but it definitely doesn't really make it all that much easier. Aaron Longstaff has been discovering that too with his series now where he's building a castle with castles, keeps, and fortresses. Which I wonder if he's gonna be going back to that series or not, I don't know. Well, you're not gonna cooperate, are you? You're gonna be a pain in the butt, so fine be that way. Nobody likes you. It is downloading. Yep. Hey, Mikey. Yeah, it is 76.06 .06 megabytes and it is downloading. I have got it downloading. Now will you behave? Vanilla one snap there. Yes, it will. Because of course it will. Alright, fine then. You wanna be difficult? Have it your way. 
Yeah, well. Should have guessed it would do that. Shouldn't have done that, but then again. Building on rafts is weird sometimes. <laughs> Look at that. Those were in no way supporting the fence foundations and all of that, but yeah. Mikey actually, um, Aaron tweeted earlier today that he was really, really super bummed and kind of pissed as well because he was away on vacation and so he was actually on his way home and was going to be on a plane at the time the ASA trailer dropped and he was so, so, so disappointed that he wasn't going to be able to see it live with like the rest of the art community. So... I don't know when exactly he's going to be home, how long it's going to take him to get home. I don't know how long he's going to be on a plane, but I am sure he will be watching that trailer as soon as he possibly can and downloading it as soon as he is able to as well. But yeah, I, I was looking at those horizontal pillars and upside down sloped walls and stuff and I was going yeah Aaron's gonna love that seriously that was a top pillar why would that break it that makes zero sense okay fine you're gonna be like this I'll do something isn't there like a half wall variant I think there is yes we'll do this then and then I think I may be able to get this to work. It just does not want to snap in that one spot. Oh well. You know what? I'm gonna put something else there anyway if you're gonna be that difficult. Hopefully, nothing will be able to jump out through there. Maybe it can, maybe it can't. I don't know. Oh, dang it. Yeah, I was going to change. There were... I couldn't figure out how to change in single player the setting that doesn't allow gate frames on rafts. That's right. That's why I ended up doing pillars on the other raft. Normally, when I'm doing a design like this, I would have a gate on the other side for taking out the creature once you've tamed it. But I, there was a setting somewhere that I... I didn't change. And I was digging through settings too, trying to figure it out last time I was on here working on this project. Huh. Find the snap point cares not for what mods you have. You are correct there, Glenn. You are correct. I just like sometimes having additional options as far as snap points because I have learned that different mods will have different snap points, even uh, even if they're frustrating. <laughs> the fact that they're different sometimes can open up possibilities. Like, okay, watch this not work right now, of course, because I'm trying to show you something, but there was something I kind of figured out. There, yeah. It's really easy to layer walls between S plus and architect structures because they snap ever so slightly differently and so the walls don't break each other. And that opens up a lot of possibilities for layering and stuff or you know if I need a if I need a snap point at a particular spot uh wrong button all over the place here. You can do that with a solid wall as well like so. But then that's really handy if for example I wanted to put a catwalk a little lower and not at the top there. 
Now it's snapping to the top of the S plus wall. So sometimes having those extra snap points can really open up some interesting possibilities. I discovered that also with the with ceilings. I don't have CKFR on this server, but um, CK. But I noticed that vanilla ceilings are the highest. They snap the highest above the level of a foundation. Then S plus snaps a little lower, flush with the top of a foundation. And then CKFR ceilings are just a smidge lower than that. And architect structure ceilings are a little lower than that. And so I could get really interesting different effects based on which ones I used. I use that a lot in like Hogwarts and also S plus has some kind of internal limitation on how many pieces you can have in an area that are S plus. Uh, I didn't even know about that until Captain Fat Dog told me about that, but it's got some kind of internal limit. And so you just can't make it um, snap anymore if there's too many S plus pieces in an area. But I was able to sometimes switch then to architect structures pieces and they looked basically the same, but they were from a different mod. And so the S plus internal count didn't, um, didn't apply. Okay, this is still gonna snap higher because of course this is this is the Architect Structures Foundation. Actually, let me swap these out for Vanilla Foundations. Still downloading. Got 3.96 gigabytes downloaded of 76. So yeah, we, we may not get it downloaded before the morning. I may end up having to like go to bed and leave it downloading overnight. But, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Now, let's see if you will behave. Let's start with the vanilla one. And, of course, that pops up. Got the S plus one. You don't want it to snap to the ceiling, though. The S plus one is not cooperating. Does it only do that? It might only do that to S plus foundations. Let me get an S plus foundation. So I still, I'm, I'm still somewhat of a noob with all of this. I'm still learning all of these principles and still experimenting with how exactly the internal logic works with all of this. Where did that go? Okay, that's an interesting place to snap. There, now you can see it, see? The vanilla one is a little higher. The S plus one's a little bit lower. Then we will swap that out for architect structures and put an architect structures ceiling. And that's a little lower still. So sometimes those slight differences can open up some different options. Anyway, yeah, just weird trivia that you probably don't care about, but you know, whatever. It's late at night. Can you snap up there, please, possibly? You know what, I don't actually need to have pillars over here. Just thought it would look nice. If you're going to be difficult, then we will get rid of you. Don't even really need them over here, since we decided to go with half walls and door frames. For the purposes of this particular project. Ali, no, this is not ASA. This is Ark Survival Evolved. I have ASA downloading in the background. It is finally available on Steam, but I have about another 70 gigabytes to download. Um, of 76 gigabytes, I have five gigabytes downloaded so far. So we'll get there, but we are not there yet. 
So just killing time messing around in a single player game at the moment. But I did choose the mod that I'm using for this raft build specifically because it does have square walls like the ones we saw in the ASA trailer. So I wanted to see how this design would look with the square walls. Let's do a double door frame here. Because they are handy for getting smaller creatures out of the trap. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a tomorrow stream. Which sucks because, well, I was going to stream it also tomorrow, but I'm going to have to plan out the timing of the stream kind of carefully because I actually have, like, uh, I have got some appointments and stuff tomorrow, so I'm not going to be able to just stream all day. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Check that out. There is a half door. That is cool. There have been a lot of pieces added to this mod since the last time I used it. So I am excited to try those out. Okay, where is the stone variant one? Okay, that's wood. That's the one I want. Oh, that's the hall one. I want to try the half door. There we go. Stone half double door. It's like a bar room door or something. That is cool. For a taming pen, though, I definitely would set all of these on manual. You don't want the door to suddenly open and let whatever wild creature you have loose, uh, you have in there loose on your raft. You really, really don't want to do that. Uh, half single door, half single door. Where is the stone one? There we go. I like the look of those. You know what? I, we might be able to actually use those to block off these. Make it so that critters won't escape through them. Yeah. We just have to set them all on manual. Can I do that with the gun? Doesn't seem like it. No. There might be a separate gun in architect structure somewhere, but I'm not going to look for it right now. This one too. Now they won't go opening unexpectedly. have a different variant or uh, ooh. oh that looks cool architect structures is really good at adding different variants like that I like that you can have it with a stone top or with the wood top like that that is nice okay, what's the other option look like oh crinolated that's kind of cool. Right, Mama Java? I, um, am I still gonna play on ASE? Asks Zesty. I, I really can't say right now. I don't know for sure. I would like to, uh, especially since ASA isn't going to have 
as much content as we're used to right in the beginning. It's going to be just the island, just the island creatures and not nearly as many mods. And so there may be some things that we want to do still on ASE. But pretty cool. Um, but yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know for sure, but that's kind of what I'm thinking at this point is I'm kind of going to wait and see. Oh, there's an arrow loop version. What? I still have ASE videos that I was still working on editing and I hope I'm going to be able to go back and finish those. But I don't know if there's going to be enough interest in them. Because, you, know, you know, editing a video takes a really long time. At least for me, because I'm not very... What was that? At least for me, it takes a long time because it's... Because I'm just not very experienced at it. But, um... So I don't want to go to all the trouble of editing a video if... Nobody's going to want to watch it because... Everybody just wants ASE content. Let's just do that arrow. I like that one. Oh, it was all the doors that broke. Okay, that's weird. I'm telling you, foundation support on raft is just very strange sometimes. Uh, I just went around and put them all on manual, and now I'm going to have to do it again. Yep, purple, I've got it downloading here, but it's going to take a hot minute. I'm at 8.13 gigabytes of 76. It might download a little faster, honestly, if I wasn't also live streaming right now, but uh, I'm probably going to have to call it pretty soon here. The, the raft is shaping up pretty nicely. I like it. I like it. So yeah, anyway, what I'm doing here for those who joined us later on is I've got a raft design that I've used a lot of times before. Okay. Leaving creatures on rafts can be a little odd sometimes. Uh, because, yeah, this raft has not moved, but when I left that uh, all of these creatures were on the raft and now they're not. But anyway... Uh, this is a raft that I, a raft design that I first built when, um, when Lost Island came out. This was my first base on Lost Island, was a raft almost identical to this. And I really liked the design. I managed to live in the raft all the way up until basically mid-game. Because it's got everything in a very compact space. So over in this little area here, I had my Oviraptor, my Dung Beetle, and my Akatina all on Wander. But, um, you know, being in here, they'd be confined and hopefully not escape. I, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's a 